everybody, I'm Priya with First Weekend Club and we are here at the William F. White's tent talking with one of the stars of a TIFF movie that you have to go see. It's called Indian Horse and we're here with the star, Ajwak. Now we're going to call you Aj because I heard that's what your friends call you. Yeah, yeah that works too. Just, just not AJ. I don't like N AJ. No, Aj sounds so much cooler. Yeah, I mean, I, growing up everybody called me Ajwak or Aj. Ajawak is actually one of the coolest names I think I've ever heard. Thank you so much. You're welcome. It. My mother gave it to me. She's a very smart woman. I would think so too. Yeah. And she produces some good offspring. I mean, she would, she would say so, and I'm not going to argue with my mom. Well played. Very <laughs> diplomatic. <laughs> now let's talk about your route to getting this role, because it was rather interesting. Now you are an actor, however, you didn't get an audition call for this. You heard about it from another source. Yeah, so my aunt originally sent me the casting call that she found online at Screen Siren's website. And um, so this was a couple a while back now, and I just sent in a video kind of explaining who I was and stuff like that, and then they eventually sent me sides back. And boom, cast in his first feature film, just like that, starring role. Pretty much, yeah. E easy as pie. Yeah, so look, I'm very fortunate, I'm very fortunate. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, pie making is not easy, so I never t understood that term, easy as pie. No, no, no. I, I've never even tried to make pie. That sounds difficult to me. <laughs> there you go. Now tell me about the character, because this film is based on the novel, and it's about a character, but in three different stages of their lives, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it starts with the character, Saul, Saul Indian Horse, when he's, uh, you know, eight or nine, or something like that, um, and living with his family. And then a lot of things happen um, to his to members of his family that that his family kind of gets taken apart, and he's with his grandmother for a while, and ends up eventually in a residential school. Um, then he lives a lot of his adolescent life there, leading into his like late teens, where he eventually gets um, picked up by a different family as like a foster, uh, and he becomes uh, he becomes a hockey player when he's in the residential school, and. He uh, becomes a really good hockey player, and I get to play him when he's at his oldest, between the ages of, you know, in his early 20s to uh, in his 40s or 30s, yeah. And what was that like for you? This is a, almost a quintessentially Canadian story, because it talks about so much of, so many things that are Canadian and so much of our history. I mean, hockey is what we're known for. It's, what was it like for you to play a part in this film? Because you'd already read the book, you were familiar with the story. Yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't say it's necessarily just a Canadian story. Obviously, it does have the, the hockey aspect, which is very Canadian, but the residential school experience isn't something that's exclusively Canadian. It's the same in the U.S., it's the same in Australia, it's the same in a lot of places around the world. Um, but no, it was, it was very interesting to me that um, this, this character, uh, he deals with his trauma in very um, interesting ways. You know, he, he tries to find something to pro propel him forward in what he's good at, which is hockey. And um, it's something that, you know, I have a lot of experience with um, through members of my family and members of my community who all went through these schools. Right. You know, um, just about everybody I can think of has a family member who went through a re residential school or boarding school, and um, we all kind of carry that with us wherever we go. Mm -hmm. So it was it was interesting to um, it was it was an honor to really try to bring that out in a film and talk about that in a way that I've never really seen before. Right. It's fantastic that we brought this film to the screen. I say we because I like to just mean Canadian film has brought this to the screen. And also that the film, the book itself is now being used in curriculum in high schools is what I heard. Did you yeah, know that? Yeah, I, I heard that too. And that's, yeah. that's incredible because it's a great book. You know, I've been studying about residential schools and stuff for a while now. Uh, I do linguistics and language revitalization on the side. And like that's a huge aspect of it is a lot of uh, native people lost their ability to use their language because of the schools. And so learning about that through uh, a narrative like this is very interesting to me. And I really appreciate that we're using, we're using this story, which is a fictional story, but it's based on true experiences in that way. And I love that the character is taking what is a, essentially a horribly negative experience and trying to find a positive way through that. Yeah, well, he's, he's one of those people that um, he has this gift and, and it's something that he really latches onto to help propel himself forward in life. And so it's, it's great that he's finding a way to utilize that to, to keep himself centered and keep himself going. And you know, there's a lot of people that, that try to do that, and I'm happy he's one of them that's able to for so long. 
It's been a pleasure talking with you, Aj. Likewise. Thank you so much. And congratulations on such a great film to land as your first big role. I'm sure we're going to be seeing a lot of you. I appreciate it. I hope so. I'd love to talk with you again sometime. Absolutely. We're always there for Canadian film. That's what we do at First Weekend Club. Thanks so much. Thank you so much.